right, well, the seasons are changing and soon, I hope, autumn will arrive. This is the perfect time to change up your style. Here to give us the scoop on upcoming trends and beauty inspirations is fashion model and style expert, Joanna House. Yes, how Welcome are you? back. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Glad to be here. So it's all about New York right mm -hmm. now. New, New York. York. US, US Open. Open, Fashion Week, there's a lot going on in New York, so that's kind of what's going to be our premise of discussion today. And going over the trends, not only on the tennis courts, but also the runways, and then, of course, the, the beauty and the face and the perfumes and all that. Yeah, well, get us started. Okay, so um, right now, of course, so we're, we're, we're winding down the U.S. Open, so let's go over some of the fashion trends. So it was a huge shift for Federer to take on Uniqlo, and a lot of people didn't really know who Uniqlo was, but if you are savvy and you're walking the streets of New York, you know Uniqlo is a place to go to get your colored jeans, your light wash jeans. I mean, their denim wall is insane. And what's really cool about this, he actually had a discussion with Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour because they're friends and she goes to see him and he was like, hey, I want to start designing stuff that's different and modern and fresh. So that relationship, Uniqlo came in at the right time, but it was something that he wanted to branch out from Nike. So that was a big deal. And that's what we're seeing, you know, trending right now during the U.S. Open. Then we go into like Serena Williams, right? Who wears the tutu, tutu which canary was yellow amazing. tennis dresses. She's kind of out there. But, you know, she's got, a, of course, a huge uh, contract with Nike. But what she's done is really brought the tennis dress back and kind of colors and, and mixing and matching things that are, you know, unique to her. She's very eccentric. And um, it's kind of cool that she's kind of evolutionized the tennis, um, you know, kind of what you would wear on the tennis courts and have it be different. And it works for her. Yeah. Um, so we're also talking about makeup. Yes. And what are the trends that we're seeing as far as makeup then? So as far as makeup right now, we're seeing that, you know, there's this huge Emmy nomination going on. You're going to find a lot of the actresses and models are wearing very little makeup. It, they want to have it more like more about precision. So this is a great line. I love Hourglass because as you can see, even when it comes to the lipsticks, they're so tiny and applicable. You don't really need to have a lot. Um, anything from the eyeliner to now their amazing new mascara but it's all about lashes, precision, having a little bit of sparkle on the eye, and really just showing your natural beauty. A lot of times the actresses don't want to you know, come looking like somebody else. So it's 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 showing their beauty, but a little bit of precision. And the color looks a little more muted too. Yeah, they're muted, but sparkle. But really just, if you are gonna do a pop, it's, it's showing up on the lips right now. Okay, and then you brought an array of scents here. Yes, so b basically, because we're discussing New York and Fashion Week is really big, I decided to do Bond Number no. 9 Fragrances of New York, which is really cool. I'm telling you, when I go to Fashion Weeks, this is the one thing I smell not only on men, but on women. And the founder, her name is Lurice, what she really did was kind of just look at the whole island of Manhattan and create a line that was kind of innovative and fresh going through the neighborhoods of scents. So we have everything from like Madison Avenue um, to uh, decadent scents of spring fling and it kind of goes along with personalities of the neighborhood that maybe you would want to visit or be a part of when you're on the New York scene. So if you're an uptown girl you have your own scent. Right you have your Madison Avenue scent so that's a little bit of apple and rose and jasmine. If you're somebody that you know like you said we were talking you like summery scents you like clean, clean scents so then what would you do you would go on to the Hamptons so then oh. they have a scent for the Hamptons which is full of white jasmine and cashmere yeah. musk that's so cool then you've got Fire Island which is a little smoky and their new scent which is really all about the hip sort of scene on Canal Street and you know Chinatown is their new Bond Street which is cool because it's got a little bit of pepper and cocoa and coffee beans patchouli so it's very sexy very oriental and kind of like what's trending right now uh, Hillary Baldwin um, there's so many celebrities that are wearing this. I kept re reading about it, and I didn't know what scent was like permeating through the fashion weeks, and this was what they, everyone was using. And you're much hipper than I am, but you said that there are scents that both men and women are wearing. Yeah, so so a lot of these scents, like the Hamptons, the Fire Island, um, Governor Island, those are unisex. They're signature scent. And I was actually, if, hey, if you want to have a really cool experience, head down to the Aventure Mall. I was just there in Miami, and they've got a great selection. I mean, you can see everything. Try it, sample it. They're really generous with giving you the opportunity, whatever your price range is and whatever you're looking for, but it's a great pl way, place to go. Thank you so much no, for thank being you. here. I always feel like I'm ready to hit the streets, you know, after I <laughs> have to do a segment with you. Thanks for the advice. Keep up with Joanna on Instagram. Search for Yo Mania.